In this lecture, we will discuss frequency domain specifications. Consider a system with closure loop transfer function C of s by R of s is equal to omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. If I draw magnitude versus frequency or frequency response of this particular system then it will look like something like this this is omega and this is magnitude for this particular characteristic we define three parameters. One is resonant frequency, second one is resonant peak, third is bandwidth. Resonant frequency. It is the frequency where magnitude is maximum. This m is magnitude. So here this magnitude is maximum. So this frequency we call it as resonant frequency. And second one is resonant peak. So this is the maximum magnitude of the frequency response. So, as we have seen, this is the maximum magnitude. So, we call it as MR, resonant peak. And the third one is bandwidth. Bandwidth is range of frequencies where the closure loop system magnitude is greater than or equal to the 0 0.707 times the zero frequency magnitude. Okay. So, for the given transfer function c of s by r of s equal to omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square the magnitude is 1 say for example at this zero frequency say the magnitude is say for example k okay assuming a constant factor is multiplied then bandwidth is the range of frequencies for which the magnitude is greater than 0 0.707 times of k where k is the magnitude at zero frequency so for example say 0 0.707 k is this magnitude so up to this frequency so this complete range is known as bandwidth of this particular system so, how to calculate the values of resonant frequency, resonant peak and bandwidth? So, instead of, in place of S, if I substitute S equal to J omega, okay, then C of J omega by R of J omega equal to omega n square by minus omega square plus 2 j zeta omega n plus omega n square so this is a complex function so find out m and phi okay so based on the definitions if we solve this equation then what we get is resonant frequency omega r equal to omega n into square root of 1 minus 2 zeta squared resonant peak mr equal to 1 by 2 zeta into square root of 1 minus zeta square and bandwidth is equal to omega n into 1 minus 2 zeta square 
plus square root of 2 minus 4 zeta square plus 4 zeta power 4 whole power 1 by 2. So these are the three expressions which we use to calculate resonant frequency, resonant peak and bandwidth. Okay. So we will solve one simple example. G of S is given. This is the open loop transfer function which is 64 by S into S plus 10 and H of S is given 1 that is unity feedback. So the question is determine all frequency domain specifications so we know that if gfs and hfs is given then the closed loop transfer function c of s by r of s is nothing but g by 1 plus gh so that is equal to 64 by s into s plus 10 this is g by 1 plus g is 64 by s into s plus 10 into 1 so this is 64 by s squared plus 10 s plus 64 so comparing this transfer function with the standard one that is omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square we get first omega n square is equal to 64 it employs omega n equal to 8 and 2 zeta omega n is equal to 10 but we have got omega n as 8 so 2 into zeta into omega n 8 is equal to 10 so zeta equal to 10 by 16 5 by 8 okay so we know omega n and we know zeta so first frequency domain specification is resonant frequency that is omega n into square root of 1 minus 2 zeta square so omega n is 8 square root of 1 minus 2 into zeta is 5 by 8 5 by 8 whole square okay so 8 into square root of 1 minus 2 into 25 by 64 okay so that is 8 into square root of 64 minus 50 so 14 by 64 so this is approximately equal to 14 radians per second and next one omega r resonant peak 1 by 2 zeta into square root of 1 minus zeta square so 1 by 2 into zeta is 5 by 8 square root of 1 minus 25 by 64 okay so you can calculate this one similarly bandwidth in bandwidth this is the expression bandwidth is omega n into 1 minus 2 zeta square plus square root of 2 minus 4 zeta square plus 4 zeta power 4 whole power 1 by 2. So in place of omega n you substitute 8, in place of zeta you substitute 5 by 8, you will get bandwidth expression. Thank you.